Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so today we're going to take our third person character and we're gonna make it so we can have a keybind that switches between the first person and third person camera views, uh, just allowing the player to switch back and forth. So let's get to it. We're gonna open up a new project and let's just uh, call this TP underscore FP. And we're going to do games, and we're going to use the third-person template. All right, cool. So now that we have that, uh, let's go ahead and play just to see what we start out with. We just have our third person character that can run around and there's no uh, camera keybinds. So we're gonna go into our third person blueprint and open up our character. And we'll go to the viewport so we can see what's going on here. If we select the camera boom, we can see this red line between the camera and the character. And when we move around in the third person view, our controller is actually changing that camera boom. So then the uh, angle of the camera changes. What we're going to do is add a second camera. So with the camera boom selected, hit add, and we're going to search for camera. Go ahead and add that. And let's name it first person camera. And while we're at it, let's name the old one third person camera. So this first, make sure you have the first person camera selected and then we're gonna go ahead and move it. And we're gonna move it ahead of the character and up to about eye height. Let's, uh, actually looks pretty good right there for the moment. This is something you can adjust and play with later if you want to uh, change it even more. So then we're going to go into our event graph and we're gonna start a new event for this. In order to trigger an event based on a key bind, we need to add an input. So we'll go into our project settings and click input on the left and we'll add a new action mapping. So this action mapping, we'll call it a change camera view. And I'm gonna use this drop down and I'm gonna tie that to the V key on the keyboard. Now that that's done, we can go and exit out of this and we go to our event graph and we're gonna add the uh, change camera view event that we just created. And what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna use what's called a flip-flop. So we'll drag this off and flip-flop. Now the way a flip-flop works is every time it's activated, the first time it'll do what is after the A, the second time after the B, then the third time after the A, and then after the B, et cetera. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to um, take our first person camera and we're going to activate it. But before that, we're going to take our third person camera, which is already activated, and we're going to deactivate. So we'll put this all after the A here, and then we'll clean this up a little. All right, beautiful. So now we're gonna do the same idea below that. And so off of B, we're gonna take the first person camera. We're going to deactivate. And then we're gonna take the third person camera and we're going to activate. So let's go ahead and tie all of this together. And if we select all that and hit C, it's gonna allow us to comment this entire section and we'll call this change camera view. Cool. So 
So we'll compile and save that. And then let's go ahead and play our game and see if this works. Oh, there we go. Um, so we're running around in third person. And then when I hit the V button, we're now in a first person view. We can still see our feet and our shadow as we move. Uh, occasionally our hand as we jump, depending on the animation. And that's really all that's to it. We can hit V again and switch back and forth continuously throughout the game. Uh, yeah, that's all that's to it. Thanks for joining me and uh, I'll see you next time.